Wisconsin's congressional members voted along party lines. Governor Brennan Conway has been tracking the state delegation. Brennan and Milwaukee area representatives Glenn Moore and Paul Ryan both spoke on the floor tonight. They did, Mike. Ryan stressing for Republicans that this bill creates a huge deficit and government control of health care, while Moore and the Democrats say they are celebrating the benefits. Demonstrating phenomenal deficit reduction. Milwaukee Congresswoman Gwen Moore says the health care bill will have a big impact in her district. We're on the right path toward reducing the deficit, saving Medicare, and expanding coverage and access to health care for an additional 30 million Americans. I think that's a win-win-win situation. Specifically, she says it will improve Medicare for 87,000 people, extend coverage for more than 52,000 uninsured people, guarantee coverage to nearly 12,000 people with pre-existing conditions, and protect 2,100 families from bankruptcy due to high health care costs. I am so proud uh, to be part of this 111th Congress that's moving this far forward. Republicans are not so excited. Janesville Congressman Paul Ryan calls the bill a huge unfunded mandate that will create health care rationing. The European social welfare state promoted by this legislation is not sustainable. This is not who we are, and it is not who we should become. Menominee Falls Republican Jim Sensenbrenner says the health care bill expands abortion funding. I have heard that the president is contemplating issuing an executive order to try to limit this. Members should not be fooled. Executive orders cannot override the clear intent of a statute. Congresswoman Moore accused Republicans of staging a campaign of misinformation. She says that this bill is not perfect, it is missing some things, but she says in the years to come, she predicts that there will be some changes to the program. All right, Brendan, thanks.